general overview. Firstly, we, I don't know the price of the Vulcans and that, but our whole dilemma at BRAP is to really create a dilemma for you. Do you buy a brand new BRAP with a lifetime warranty or do you go consider a second hand, you know, Harley or Kawasaki or whatever. But I guess for this comparison, there is a huge price difference because you could probably buy two BRAPs for the price of one used Harley or Vulcan. But we know that if you're looking at the BRAP Cruiser, you've probably considered these two bikes and we've got them in our lease fleet you can ride all of them if you're a leasing member that's how the flexible program works but if you're buying one we think it brought incredible value especially for lambs and for commuters and for customization and stuff like that but anyway give us your general rundown um all right, i'll start off from kawasaki i rode this yesterday and it was um it's actually quite heavy for a 600 real bulky and kind of tight around the corner still fun yeah it seems like it'd be a good tour up um, definitely not something I'd commute around town on. You can't go wrong with these little Harleys, they're great. They're very comfortable to ride, very easy, um, good for everybody. And I feel like, you know, the difference in the CCs doesn't really matter here because I really agree that we can't keep up easy. Yeah, so I need yeah. well, a bright cruiser. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, as, as someone who's mostly ridden cruisers, yeah. the, uh, whatever this seat is made out of, we need to get on top of getting more of those on bikes because it's literally the comfiest seat that we're doing. You know, these are comfy, you can just sit on this and it just kind of... Yeah, these are around the same kind of size and length and seat height as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the cruise is just really comfortable to ride. Nice. So Vulcan feels the biggest and heaviest, especially if you're going to do highway stuff. It's really set up for... Yeah, the bulky um, Vulcan. Yeah, the bulky Vulcan. <laughs> That'd be the long distance pick, probably. Yeah. All right, now that's the Brat Cruiser 400. Give us the Harley 500. Drew it out a little bit. Yeah. Um, definitely, it's got like enough power to get out of the jam and stuff. It's definitely um, got that torque, but yeah, it just feels like real chunky. Yeah. Yeah, good info. I mean, these are smaller bikes in terms of um, like length and, and seat height and stuff, but yeah, yeah, it just felt like you know I was turning a bit of truck. <laughs> and uh, tell me about the rake angle on the Harley 500. That's probably the biggest. Uh, Thing that people notice when they ride the Harley is that it's quite raked out, which makes the front wheel want to, especially when you're going really slow, like it does through town. Feel really bizarre, like when you're turning, it doesn't feel like you're like, the bars, like, it's like the wheel is almost going with you. Yeah. Um, very, very weird feeling to get used to, especially after riding like either of these yeah. a little bit. Um, I'm not sure why why it does that. Because the, the forks are raked out a bit, so yeah. you, know, you get used to it, but it yeah, is something to it note. Is, it is a really bizarre feeling. Yeah. You've never experienced it before. Yep. It almost feels like when you're, it's like counter steering without steering. Yeah, that's a that good, makes that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> that's good to note for people because you don't get that unless you ride one. And then the yeah. Cruiser, I think, we haven't got it as raked out as much. We're trying to make it easier to ride. So. Yeah. Easy to ride. What would you say is the easy? Yeah, well, I, I managed to have these for one of these for a week or so, and I, I don't think I stalled it once. So the the clutch control and the throttle is just um, really, really user friendly. So it makes it incredibly easy to ride and get used to like straight away. Whereas some bikes you get on and you're like, oh, okay, I've got to figure out mm. you know where the friction zone is or if it's going to turn this way. I jumped on the cruise and straight away I was like, oh, I'm breaking this thing. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it was really, really easy to ride. Very intuitive. Good. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah. Bit less rake angle, bit uh, comfier, bit lighter, that type of thing. Yeah. 400 twin, so, yeah.